love in action. In 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4 through 7, love is patient, kind, not jealous, does not brag, is not arrogant, does not act unbecomingly, does not seek its own, is not provoked, does not take into account a wrong suffered, does not rejoice in unrighteousness, but rejoices with the truth, bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Love is difficult to define, but it can be described by the behavior it produces. Paul painted a portrait of the kind of love Jesus wants to produce in every believer. It is, in fact, a portrait of Christ himself, who is love's highest expression. Unlike most English translations, which include several adjectives, the Greek forms of all those properties are verbs. They do not focus on what love is so much as on what love does and does not do. Set against the backdrop of the Corinthians' self-promoting behavior, Paul's words are a strong rebuke. He says, in effect, love is patient, but you are impatient. Love is kind, but you are unkind toward those who disagree with you. Love is not jealous, but you envy those with certain spiritual gifts. Love does not brag, but you are proud of your theology. Love is not arrogant and does not act unbecomingly, but often you are rude and ill-mannered toward one another. Love does not seek its own, but you are self-centered. Love is not provoked, but you quarrel among yourselves. Love does not take into account a wrong suffered, but you hold grudges against each other. Love does not rejoice in unrighteousness, but you delight in one's other failures. Love does not rejoice in unrighteousness. Love rejoices with the truth, but you distort and disobey God's word. Love bears all things but you are defensive and resentful. Love is eager to believe the best about someone, but you are quick to assume the worst. Love never gives up and can tolerate incredible opposition, but you are weak and intolerant. Paul wanted the Corinthians to see the deficiency in their love in light of the truth and make the needed corrections. You and I must do the same. So as we explore each of love's characteristics, ask the Holy Spirit to purify your heart so others will clearly see Paul's portrait of love on display in you. Amen. God bless you. Until next time.